we're going to take some of the commands out of here and we're going to implement some of them. So I'm going to take the easy ones and then we'll work up to the more difficult ones. But I'm not going to I'm not going to copy um, the code. We're going to do it ourselves, right? So we're going to um, we're going to take some of these uh, commands that he's got here and implement them in our in how we would do it. So this is going to be on the fly coding. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I mean, he's got G load and G save now. I got G. I've got G load and G save, uh, but they are different names so I might I might we might go in back into my old one and nick that code but call it G load and G save I quite like those those commands uh, I'm not gonna do the three-dimensional plotting Wow that's gonna take some maths definitely take some maths X Y and Z P draw X1 Y1 Z1 X2 Y2 Z2 <laughs> yeah oh, he's got color in it as well But we'll take some of the some of the cool commands because I, I was thinking about it. Some of my commands that I've got, like sprite mob, we could split that up. Which which Nick's done in this book because he's got uh, spawn, which is sprite on, spoff, which is sprite off. Um, what else has he got? I think he's got place but s p s place i think it is which is sprite place right okay hang on so yeah place um use place uh, place is used to position a sprite on the screen uh the sprite can be positioned by um x or y so he's he's broke it up he's broke it up a bit I mean, he's got a sprite command here, which basically does what our mob does. Or does it? Does it? I've got a readme around here somewhere. Because uh, I've put the... I put the... I converted my manual that I did as a kid and put it and put it in here here we go right so sprite what did that mob right mob in Nick Hampshire's book is sprite so sprite number BL number what's BL number hello oh. John here someone's hosting my stream oh next thing they'll be nicking my code <laughs> hey thanks FaZe for hosting my stream Thank you. So, I, I'm not. I, I, I'm a little bit not happy with the names that we call them, but they've got. You know, Nick has put like so for mob. It's actually named Sprite. So Sprite number, um, the pointer position, and he's actually got X expand Y, X expand Y, expand X. Sprite to color priority, which we've got. Um, sprite main color, which we don't have. Which we don't have, but that's that's in the um, sprite command. And then he's got sprite cut multicolor one and multicolor two, but the multicolors. Are, hello, Bumble Coder. The multicolors are global. They're not unique to the sprites. So I thought we could implement some of these implement some of these commands in here, but using our code, not not taking Nick's code, but using our code. So G G uh, load and G save we can do because I've already written them, but I called them I called it put I think and and retrieve. Where are we? Yeah, put. So put command will save the high res screen to a device and retrieve. 
Now, put and retrieve are not really good commands. Um, G load and G save is. Um, and so, I mean, he's got ch he's got character in here as well. What's he? What's he using? X Y, color, B R V R and string. What's B R? What's B R? Oh, it doesn't. Oh, hang on. Uh, and BR, uh, right, colour and BR are as in plot. Oh, we've got to find plot, haven't we? Okay, well, we're not doing colour at the moment. That was one of the things I was going to do an update on, which was putting colour on the screen. Ah, oh, plot. So, what's BR? Uh, no, 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 no. The value colour is the colour of the point. The parameter BR is the brush. Oh. Right. So the brush is the size of the dot, not point. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, uh, clear graphics, which I think M Microman asked for uh we're not doing graph but that's what i was thinking of doing was um implementing some of these uh commands that i think are better you know sprite on sprite off so that's that enable and disable um sprite reconfigure what sprite is um place so place so S place, sprite place. So we can make it that we just place the sprite at a specific location, then use sprite for configuring the sprite instead of mob. Um, and, and do that. So, um, yeah. Oi, John, pay attention to chat. <laughs> Why have I got to pay attention to chat? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Lumux. <laughs> that is to that is to alert me if, if someone said something, and I've missed it. <laughs> um, and so, I mean, he's got a circle route in here. Using yeah, rotations of right. <laughs> I pressed it by mistake. That's all right, mate. It's not a problem. I mean, that was that's what it's for. So we're gonna we're gonna take some of the um, commands out here. We're gonna make them because I've not done it and apply them because I think I think they'll be better because you know mob doesn't really. I mean command. Basic commands are supposed to say what they are. Mob. Right? But, I mean, that that does. Sprite zero, put it one. But we're going to... That I'm thinking of changing that to S place. Sprite place. Yeah? We'll keep M colour, but more than likely what we'll do is we we'll, we'll, might call that sprite colours. Uh, and mob will re we'll reuse as sprite. Um, we'll put in the G load, G save, but we'll make some more commands just to, because when I was typing this in, when I was typing this in into GitHub, because this is the manual, I went and I've typed it, <laughs> typed my man, manual in into, into here. God, that was a pain at the backside doing that. I mean, it's not even come out right. That's not come out right either. So things have got to be done. Things got to be done. Um... Um, I've still not figured out how to do that yet. Um, it's uh, driving me bonkers. But I want to change some of the. I want to change the the commands that don't mean anything. Yeah, I mean dump. That is to take the um, the high res screen and dump it to the printer. Um, I haven't coded it yet, but we can put it in. We can put it in. We can do that and interface it with the printer. So let me just load it up. 
so I know what I'm talking about. Oh, maybe add. Where are we? And it's not on there either. Okay, 64. There we go. So we can do the dump. I mean, that will teach you how to... I mean, that'll, that will... The, the dump would teach you how to take a high resolution picture and replicate it on the printer, which is not a straightforward thing because you have to define characters when you do it. In fact, that might be a good one to do in this as the big one. Let me find it in here. Dump. So that's circle, reverse, box. Dump. Here we go. Oh, that's, that's big. So, um, yeah. So what we'll do is we'll utilize some of the commands that are in the book. Uh, we'll reconfigure our commands to then be more helpful to the user when it comes to using it. So, what date is it today? 24th. So we're going to add, I want to add SP on, Sprite on, Son, Son, <laughs> uh, off, Sof, uh, S place, uh, da, 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 what else was I saying? Oh, uh, redefined sprite and uh, call it G dump. It's probably a better thing because if we're going to have G load, G save, we'll have G dump, G load, G save. Let's see. Uh, let's see if we can manage all that. If we can't, we'll just take it into the next next one. Right. So if I feel it, if I sound like I'm a bit distracted, is one of the one of the dogs was had an operation today, so um, the other arse down there with him. Um, so um, he's not himself at the moment. So you won't see him video bomb me the stream today. I'm afraid he's uh, he's a bit down in the dumps, um, like we all would be after a general anaesthetic. Right. So um, let's do. Son and Sof. Would it be better to call it SP on and SP off? What do you think? What do you think? S SP. Okay. SP on. So we'll do that one. We'll copy the header. Right, SP on. So we'll change this as well. So SP, 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 S place. That's okay. We can live with that. Right, SP command. Basic function uh, to turn on a sprite. Right, so, so it's SP on. Um, do we, do we have, I can't remember if we have a, 
instruction on that. Come on, press enter. Here we go. Do we have an instruction? SP. SP, SP, SP. Yes, SPC. I thought we did. Right, so we can't do that. So that's going to be SP. Shift out. And it's going to be sprite number. Nothing else. Right. So let's do let's some do some nicking. So sprite command. So we'll do that. So we need the number. So we'll copy all this lot. And we'll paste it in there oops no we won't did I copy that oh there we go so we get in the basic number we're checking that we're not um, too high if we are do a legal quantity but I don't think we're going to need to do this store because I think what we need to do is this here. So we need to do all that. But it's down here. This is it here. That's it. So, we store it away because we're going to have to because we've got to read it back in as a subtract. We clear it out and then set it. But I don't think we need to clear it out either. Just thinking, no we don't need to. Because we're just turning it on. So, we load the sprite number but we still need that in there because that's working out our X because it's in reverse isn't it sprite 0 is 0 so we need this to work out our bite mask and then apply the bite mask so we don't need that, but we definitely need that, and that switches it on. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Right, let's do off as well while we're here, because that's going to be quite straightforward. Yeah, no, I forgot to, uh, I've not kept my formatting, have I? There, rename. That's it. So we'll grab this lot, because it's going to be exactly the same, and we'll put it in there. Now, this will not have, because we can't do that, so it's gonna have to be like that. Might as well type the full, <laughs> might as well type the full word in, but there we go. So this is the same. Grab the thing, grab the um, sprite number, 
and then um, jump away. Now, we're repeating this code many, many times. So when we come to optimize all this, um, that is going to be one, this is going to be one area where we're going to optimize because we do, we get a byte many, many times. Yeah. And what we need to do is we need to um, create a, 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 root, a subroutine that allows us to get it and then return back our value and if it's a and if it's a um, an illegal value we need to make it error straight away but we need to sort the stack out and stuff like that as well so when we come to optimize all this lot and um, we're gonna this is one routine where we're going to we will create a routine and we'll just say go get me a byte and done so we'll have a routine that says go get me the sprite number or whatever I mean I might do it I might do it as well and put it in uh, some routines. In fact, let's do it here. Let's put it in here. So, this is how I would expect it to work. So we would JSR into this. Yeah, and then we return back out. But what we're going to do is this. And the output of this is... Um, X register equals sprite number. Um, and the error that could potentially become out of this is illegal quantity. Right. So to make this work, Right, to make this work, because we're going to have to go sub, we're going to have to go sub to this to get it, but we're doing a jump to the error. So to make sure that we keep our, keep the stack in line, we're going to have to pull the return address of the, of the go sub out of the stack, because we don't want, so if we, if we do a JSR here, and then we do uh, an illegal quantity. When it comes to the first RTS, it will come back in. We don't want that. We want the we want the error to stop and stop the program. So we have to pull pull off the stack the address that would have been the return address of that JSR. So what we do now is grab that and just put it there instead. So we don't need any of this. So I'm just going to rem it out for the moment. So we JSR the sprite number and then we store it into our uh, into our um, register that we want. So we'll do the same thing on Sprock. Sprof, sorry. We will do that. So we don't need that and don't need that and we can do that. We can also do it for where's sprite. So Sprite is doing it as well. So we can do that as well. Do that. And missing a space. And then get rid of all this lot, because we don't need it, to there. Uh, what else are we using? Uh, the, the mob, isn't it? Mob, 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 mob. There we go. So same thing again, go, get Sprite number store it there this is allowed to see so we now we've we're saving bytes all over the place and if we do this more and more we'll save even more bytes as well so um, 
what do I need to do here? Oh, that's the mob parameter, isn't it? So mob parameter is, is that X? Let's just see what that's doing. See, we, we're working out the sprite bit as well here. So we can grab that as well. Um, and that's this bit here. So JSR work out sprite bit. So we don't need that. Um, Where's my mob, 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 mob there? That's there. So that transfers A into X. So that's still the X. So when it comes out, that's still X. So what we need to do there is we need to put one of these on it. Get sprite number bit mask. Now get sprite number index. So what goes in? So input. So the input is com axlo. The out is the X which is the sprite number effectively sprite bit pattern there we go and there's no error right so let's just make sure we've got this right so we store it in there work out that then we can get the bit mast cool Let's do that on this one. So we don't need that. It's now that. Don't need that. In fact, we don't need that either. That's looking better. And this one, because we're turning it off, We don't need that. So work out this load the bike mask, XOR it, XOR it, and it with what we're looking at and save it back. But that is the most significant bit. That is not enable. So we need Vic to where's the uh, constants file gone? Vic chip locations. We need enable. And there as well. Well, that's made that smaller. It's made that a lot smaller. Maybe we need to uh, look through everything else. Right, so Sprite. So we've done that. We've got, we've already got that routine. We can nick that from here. So that can be that. We don't need the X because that's what comes back. Right, cool. Now, what we because we've now got sprite on and sprite off, um, this is effectively S place, yeah? So this is effectively the S place, and 
So we just need to rename this. So S place move the sprite around the screen. Right. So let's just keep track of where we are. So I want the tokenizer. I want the to oh, we might as well rename this. Rename that to S place now. There we go. Um tokenizer. So sprite is no longer sprite, it's S place and sprite here is S place. Mob colour we're leaving, but mob we're gonna change. We're gonna change mob. So mob is now gonna be sprite. Yeah. So let's just make sure everything is renamed properly. Mob, 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 bob. There we go. Rename. Okay. So we'll do that now. We'll do that now. So this is going to be sprite. Right, S, P, Shift, R. Sprite number, Sprite pointer, uh, enable, disable, background. Right, that's exactly the same as, as uh, Nix. Right, let's add our Sprite on and Sprite off. Tokenizer, tokenizer, get rid of you. Don't need you. Where's tokenizer? We don't need you. Tokenizer, right. So let's add the two new two new commands. So SP on and SP off. Minus one. Right. <laughs> Sorry, I have no no problem, Microman. Not a problem. Right. So we just need to add. We just need to include. Typo. One oh six. What? Yep. Yeah, okay. Good one. Wait until I get the the um, the point system working. It's going to be running on a Raspberry Pi constantly. I'm also going to connect the Raspberry Pi. Yeah, AMK points. I'm also going to connect the Raspberry Pi up to... I'm going to buy some RGB lights. So we can change the lighting in here, you know. Um, I'm starting to get into Node.js. I'm starting to get into it. Slow, but I'm getting into it. Right. Uh, we need to include the files, but we've renamed some. So now mob is right. Sprite uh, is s place. Mob is sprite. Then ink asm.
Right, so we've done that one, that one, that one, and that one. Right, let's uh, let's see if we can get it working. Right, so F5. I've got to remember, it's F5, not F6 in <laughs> kick. We have an error. What do we have an error? Okay. Right. Where did I put it? Oh, where was the error? There. Right, so we need to make it do that. So we need to change this to that. So basically, we add... Oh, but we've got that there. So we don't. So... Branch if less than, to there. Branch if equal, to there. Bra if it's greater than, error. Where's the other one? There. Right, so there we do, oops. Oh, where was we? Oh, there it is. Yeah, we can make it go back to that. Right, I'll sort that out. Five. <sighs> Nearly pressed F6 again. Right. So we should have a sprite program. Now this is not going to make any sense because we've just redefined the, the commands, yeah? There we are, mob call, yeah? So this, this is now Sprite. And that's Place. Now, in Sprite, I think one of them's Turn On. So let's sort that out first, because we don't need to Turn On now, because we're going to use um the new two, the two new commands so enable disable that's that one so it's not sprite point so we're going to get rid of that and we're going to get rid of that i'll have to change the instructions so that's that one there okay i'll sort that out so let's do it again, F5. Da -da -da. Yep, so it's still got the same issue, so we're going to change it now. So this is now Sprite, and we are knocking that on the head. And then this is Place. Now, <clears throat> this should not do anything. 
it doesn't because we haven't turned the sprite on. So 25 SP on zero run. Right, okay. So we have a syntax error. Why would we have a syntax error? Oh, we have a syntax error, isn't it? Did it encode it properly? Right, so we are... What line was it? 25, hang on. Which, what line is it? So it's the third line. So we're looking at the third line. So line one. So that's little 10. Right, look for a zero. Look for a zero, not one there. There it is. Right, line 20. It's there. So that's space zero. Right, that's the second line. Where does that finish? That finishes there. Third link line 25. 19's 25, yeah. Oh, hang on. It's not, it's not uh, encoded it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, great, great defender. Exactly. Like, right, let's just save that. We had the same problem with mob and mob colour, if you remember from last, the last time. So we need to change these around. Because we need the big, we need the big word first, and then the smaller word afterwards. Oh no! I've just pressed F six. <laughs> F five. I don't know why that doesn't remember its size. Anyway. Load sprite three. Now this is gonna be wrong because we've just, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit that again. Right, we'll do a quick monitor search. So, um, right. 25 here we go so this is the line so but it's still not done it sp 91 oh it's picking on it's encoding on have i have i got the text wrong in the tokenizer No, it's tokenized on, but it, it looks like it didn't see that. That's strange. Hmm. Let me uh, let me fire up C sixty four debugger in admin mode. Can uh, we can look at it then? Right, so we've got that ready. Um, it's. Basically what's happened, it's it's tokenized the word on. 
So it's like our... Um, it's like our um, tokenizer must have got to here. But it should have got there. Why would it do that? Um, I'm surprised Char and H Char are working because I'm sure it would have tokenized Char first. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's tokenized on. It's to the it the it's for some reason it's passed on to the basic interpreter saying it can't find S P O N. Maybe it can't. This is loaded in now, so we should be able to see. Where's the memory view? There used to be a memory view in here. Is it gone? Has it been got rid of? Um. <laughs> right, let's see if we can find... There used to be a memory view. But I'd, where, where is it? Well, that'll have to do. So we should see all our commands in there. I think they're there. I think they're there. But no, they can't be because we should be seeing the text. Oh, I don't know. Now that's the title. These must be the commands here. But I don't know why they would be shifted characters. Oh, hang on. These are the screen codes, aren't they? Yeah, that's why. Hmm. Let's just try this again. Before we have to run through it and figure out what's going on. Yeah, we could do. We could do. Let me just... Uh Hit that so it's put it in. Just make sure. Yeah, it's done it again. SP. Right, we'll rename them. We'll rename them. So we'll keep it the same. And yes, mate. Gonna have to, I'm, I, like I say, I'm uh, I'm getting I'm starting to get used to Node.js, but like I say, I've, I bought a Raspberry Pi so I can have a server running all the time, which will go in the server room. But I'm going to get it so it can control some RGB lights uh, and stuff like that. So we can have different different uh, ambient lighting. Yeah, we could have red for you've made a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
sound sound is. You should see my serve my server rooms in in there. You should see it. It's only it's only the top of a but it's the top of a wardrobe. <laughs> I'm taking the entire top of the wardrobe. It's Tech City in there. But I'm uh, I'm buying another rack, uh, Raspberry Pi rack, because I I want to. I want to have a Docker server as well, and you can do Docker servers on the Raspberry Pi. Right, um, what am I doing here? Oh, changing the name. I love the Raspberry Pi. You can do so much with it and it only costs you 35 quid. And who would have thought it runs Node.js on it? Amazing. Right, Sprite 3. Does it? Okay. Right, so SPR on zero. Right, let's see what that's done. No, it's still it's still tokenized on. It's still tokenized on. <sighs> Let me just try something. I wonder if it's a quirk of the tokenizer. Hang on. Let's just do that. Oh, I've done it again. F6. F5 Right Oops Not quick enough Oops Listy Well, this this is the thing. It sh it should be running. It should be running uh, through all my commands first. When it's tokenizing, it should be running through all my commands first. Uh, let's see what happens now. Nope. I thought it was ours first, then basic. I thought it ran ours because we're wedging in before we get we hand over to basic. Because we're wedging into here, yeah. So we're performing the crunching, testing our commands first, and that's the thing. It should be finding our commands and then. that's going to be a problem if 
I was going to test Sprite off in a minute. Right, it, so this is now test. Yep, that's done it. So 25 DF. Hmm. Test um, let's test SP off. Right. No, it's not tokenized it. Why is it not tokenizing it? What? It could be going on. Come on. That's better. No, it's not tokenized it. Right, let's have a look. Let's see what it could be. Why could it be going in a bit screwy? Um. Oi, John, pay attention to chat. Is SP a special variable? I didn't think it was. No. I didn't think... I'm just wondering if it's to do with the fact... I'm just wondering if it's to do with the fact. Right, let's do this. Put mob coal there. And put sprites. I'm just wondering if it's to do with this. Because it would test SPR and an I, but it should move on to the next one. Um, let's try something. We'll put them in front of Sprite. SPC is reserved. Yeah, I know SPC is reserved. That's why we couldn't do S Shift P for place. All right, see if uh, see if we get any luck with that. Now I've reorganised the um, commands a little bit. See if we help the tokenizer out. So this might look a bit funny, which it is. Right, so. 
Um, this is Sprite. Oh. Sprite on. And this is S place. Right. Let's see what the memory is like now. Nope. It's still SP. 25. So that's the light. And then we've got SP there. 91 is on. So it doesn't... Oh, it's SPR, isn't it? Ah, oh, I forgot about that. We changed it. There we go. Let's try that. Oh, you are joking me. So we can't use on. So what did he use in here? <laughs> P101 points. <laughs> Right, let's find out what's, why it should, it should be tokenizing. Right, tokens to text, that's list, so that's not. Crunch to tokens, here we go. What is he using? Hang on a sec. If it gets to... Compare with 128. But we're not comparing with 128, are we? It's bit 7. What does he do? Right, okay. So, if we subtract, so if we, so if we subtract the command, if it's zero, we move to the next character. If we've subtracted, it's 128, then we're saying it's done. But if it's not, if it's not e so if it's equal 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 not equal so when it comes to the 128 it wouldn't it wouldn't be um, the command So this is where it fails. It comes to here, so it finds the rest of it, or it finds a zero, finds a zero. Uh, if it's zero, loop back. Have I got a zero at the end of my tokenized list? Yes. Phew. 
All right, so it's not that. So Iron X goes back. So if it's minus, then continue. So that means it's found the end of the command, so it should start again. I don't know why, no, 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 load, buff, load buffer, branch if not equal to zero to loop in. So it should, it should find it, it should find it. That is silly, it should find it. doesn't it find it okay so okay SP enabled SP enable and SP disable okay Try that. Enable, disable. Right, let's try that. disposal <laughs> so it looks like SP disposal <laughs> right so that's sprite so SP enable zero and this one is uh, best place right Well, that's done it. So there's line 25, because that's the link. So DD space zero, end of line. So that's done it. Okay, so let's save this. Run this, so we should have an enabled sprite. There we go. So, 40 for uh, get a dollar if a dollar equals 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 come on nothing then 40 and then 50 will turn it off SP disable zero Right, it comes on, press a key, turns off. Why can't we not use on? That is just stupid, 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 stupid. <sighs> rough, rough, rough. Right, so. Let's do the G load and G save. But use our, oh, I've got sound and voice and all that to do. Right, so there's G save. So that's G save, so yeah, we can do that. Looks easy enough. 
Right, let's create a new file. G save. Right. So let's get rid of that. Copy that. I'll tell you, it's um, Charmate's coming along. I can show you what I've done. It's a bit flaky, but Charmate's coming along. But I, I didn't like the way he coded it, so I'm having to re I'm sort of rewriting it because I, I'm a purist sort of thing. Uh, it's probably one of my OCD flaws. Basic function to save the. Uh, graphics screen to a device. G save or G shift A. Inputs. Right, so we're going to need file name. And uh, device. Right. Right, this should be just like any, any, any other way of saving. So it's just like normally saving a file. So have you ever seen, have you seen my um, videos on the kernel routines? If you haven't, naughty, naughty, naughty. So, what we're going to do is we are um, basically just going to rob this because it ain't that big. I had to stay safe by not watching. <laughs> right, so this is what I did as a child. All right, so if a child can do it, Mr. Defender, you can. Right. So let's get the ROM routines up because we need to find what those are basic routines. A9. Wait. ROM routines. Hello, matey. Good morning, sir. And how are you? Right, um, so AD9E, now I think we've already got that on here, yeah it is, it's here. So that's to grab the string. Uh, we're doing alright, just had a fight with basic because on is a reserved word in basic and we couldn't crunch our command because it had the word on in. So Mr. Defender come to our rescue. And gave me an alternative. Right, so this is grabbing the string. Oh, and Prince. Oh, sorry mate. Sorry mate. I didn't, didn't, didn't realise you'd done it as well. Uh, right, so first thing we're doing is grabbing text. Now we know how to do that because we learnt it with the, the char command. Yeah, 
So that's the HR one. So cha 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 cha. So right at the very end here. So this is where we grab the string. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So this is where we grab the string. So this is what uh, we grab the string, and the length is returned in um, y. So we're grabbing the string, and we store it in there. Oops. Then we load 22. Now 22, I think we've named. Yes, index. So load 22. Store it in 247, which I think is that. No, it's not. It's that. That's 247. Yes, it is. Uh, plus one. Crap. Oi, John, pay attention to chat. <laughs> what have I missed now? <laughs> what have I missed now? Oh, maybe it can't be at the end. All oh, right. Right. Oh. Well, we can try it. We can try it. We'd have to think of a word then. Sprite on, please. Sprite off, please. <laughs> we have a polite, basic language. <laughs> right, that. I know what that is. Seventy-nine. So that's that's uh, got. That's got. That's got to be char got. Where is it? I've just seen it. There it is. Uh, AD. Oh, why are we doing that again? ADFD. Oh. ADFD. That's comma. I bet that's comma. AD. 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 Ooh. Thought that would have been a comma. Check for comma. Where's check? AEFD. There it is. Couldn't see it. And this one will be getting one character. Get bite. Not get address. Get bite. There it is. B790. So we've just got the string. And we've stored the length of the string into there. And we've taken note of where in memory that string is and put it into RB, uh, ribuff. And then we've told it to get the last character that we've just got, check, see if it's a comma, and then grab the device number. So now we are setting up the <laughs> I haven't got any merch. I have thought about it though. I haven't got any merch. <laughs> it's empty look. <laughs> I ain't got oh where'd that go? Oh, there it is. I ain't got any merch. I've been thinking about it though. I've been thinking about it. Um, 
you know, like having a t-shirt with the word plank on it, or you plank, that's it. Um, right, FFBA is a kernel routine. You know what? Set file name. Are you up here? Nico! Nico! Come on, boy. Come on. Oh, come here. Oh, come here, mate. Alright, I'll come in. I'll come to you. There you go. Are you alright? Hey? I've just tried to be food again. Can you try later? Yeah, I'll try later. But it is, as soon as I moved, he got off the sofa and came here, and I think he just wants to. Okay. The guys are, the guys are now keeping an eye on him. Do you leave the sofa? Yeah, we'll leave that open so I can, so I can, because I can see him, I can see him in the, in the, yeah. Well, I'm only going to be sitting in bed reading. Okay. But if he wants to. Okay. All right. See you later, mate. All right, guys. See you later. Instead of letter O, use the letter zero. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I suppose. I, I didn't realise we could have numbers in the commands. Anyway. Oh, was a question. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't think we could have numbers in commands. We can always try it. Anyway, that's uh, Nico. Um, unfortunately, had an operation today. He's not. Um, he's not himself at the moment. Right, so we're setting <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> right, so we're setting the file number. <laughs> so this is the uh, logical logical Oh, come on, turn off. File number. This is the logical secondary, oops, secondary address. And X is our device number. Uh, because we've just got that and that gets returned in X. So we're setting up the logical file number, the secondary address, and it knows what the device is because that's in X. Then we load RX low. And that and that and then we want that one. So this is now setting the file name. So we've loaded the pointer to where the text is stored for the file name. We've loaded the length of the file name and then run set file name. So this is length of file name. Pointer to file name text. Then we turn off basic because that's where our bitmap stored. So 
So that's 40. That's 49, I think. 249. Is that 249? Yes, it is. So we are now setting the um, the start. We're set, setting the start of um, of the memory that we want to save. Then we tell it the pointer of where the start is, and then this is the end. So so here. Turn off basic set start address of memory save. So we put that in it. Then we load um, start address zero page index. So that's basically saying it loads 249 into the accumulator because that's the zero page pointer where we've stored the start address. And then this is the end address of memory save. So we're setting the start address to be A000. And we're setting the end address to be C000. And then we perform the save. And then we bring basic back. So that is effectively it. So we're using the kernel commands to do the save. And basically, it's the same save as you would type when you type in save. But instead, we're telling it where to save from and where to save to. And then that saves in a chunk. So we'll try this. Let's put this in the tokenizer. Uh, yeah, we'll come back to that. So put the command in and then we'll include it. Oi, John, pay attention to chat. Yeah, you're right there. Yeah, let's see if that fails. All right then. Let's try it. So F6, F5, oh, I had to think then. Right. Boom. So let's. Let's pick one. That'll do. Graphic, draw, circle, draw. Okay. So 180. G save. Right. Let's 
see what that's done. So we're looking for the word John. There we go. G. Oh, it's not done it. It's tokenized save. Yeah, 94 is save. Okay. Um, another word for save. Store. Store. We could use that. Now, we'll use what I used before, which was put. So, graphics put. Yeah. Okay, so what we use for load then? What would we use for load? Pull. Yeah? Okay. Like you're thinking. Like you're thinking. Oh, I've pressed F6 again. Well, I had retrieve. It's actually named retrieve in the original when when I did it originally. I, I called it put and retrieve. Yes, it does, which will confirm what. Um, Andy was saying about um, restore. So one eighteen G store. Pants. All right, we'll put it back to how I used to have it. That was pants. Can't you store? See if that's done it. That's done it. So there is right, so that's the line end, link pointer, line number, E0, and then quotes John test, comma eight. Right, so we'll we'll do G put and G pull. So Let's try that run. line out oh well we'll wait we'll see if it saves it it should do
<laughs> Alt W warp. <laughs> okay, there you go. Right, that should have saved it. Let's see if it has. Well, there it is. Um, it's a bitmap, really, isn't it? It's a bitmap. Would it? No, uh, bitmaps. Right, let's do the G load and let's see if we can load this back in. Right, so let's create another one. G load. Oops. Oh, I'll change that in a bit. So G load is exactly the same as G save. We're just doing it in reverse. So let's um, grab this lot. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Right, so that is effectively doing the same as the save, to be honest. So we'll grab this as well. Grab the... That. Get rid of that. Right, so that's doing all this lot down here. Right, here we go. So now we're doing the save. So, same thing as before. So we're grabbing that, grabbing that same thing as before so we're setting the logical file number and then we're telling it where the file name is so the difference now is we're going to um, run the load command so it's dead easy right so to run the load command, you pass you pass in a zero in the accumulator. To do verify, you pass in one. So when if you pass in one in the accumulator when you do the load, it doesn't actually do a load, it does a verify. And so it verifies the memory that's the, the memory pointer that's in the file with the memory you've got. So we're not doing verify, we're doing load. So that is G load. And as we've just been talking about, we're gonna call it G pull. And we'll bring it in here as well. Save the lot. F5. Right, hold the shift down. Oh. You can hold down shift. Well, I'm holding shift down. Never mind. <laughs> Spy. Yes, I used to love it as well. Right, so let's write a program. So 10 graphic 20 G pull John Tess, comma 8. This, hopefully, should load it straight into the place. Oh, 
Run. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, this is not Vice. This is not Vice 3.1, I think. It's Vice 2.7, I think. Right. So that's... Oh, good. I'm going to run that again. Nice. So that's doing a load. It's just loading the bitmap straight onto the... Straight into the thing. Now, the printing version of doing this is a lot more complicated. <laughs> I'm just, where's it, where's it gone? Dump, there we go. Oh, this is lots of, lots of IO. Oh, and wow. Lots and lots of IO. But I don't know if we can ever test it because I haven't got a printer. Um, yeah, you test because you, um, you you have to take the screen and then convert it into printable custom characters. Now the old printers didn't have many custom characters, so you have to redefine the character every time you do it. Um, so I'm just looking at it now. So that's reading the screen. I mean, let's let's copy and paste it, and then we can work we can work it out together because it's been a while. There's a lot of, there's a lot of characters sending. Hang on, let me see if I can find a printer manual. Oh, there's, that's probably a good place to start. Oh, here we go. Now, what would this have been geared to? It would have been the 801. Oh, no, 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 it wasn't the 801, it was this one. That looks familiar. Oh yes, that definitely looks familiar. Because you, when I, ha I can remember doing this, that you, you can send use defined graphics to, I mean, look at all that. You never get this in a manual anymore, do you? Or just in print heads. How to how to take the tractor apart? You'd never get anything like that. But that's a service manual, isn't it? It's not a user's manual. Yeah, technical service manual. Um, is there a user manual in here? No. Right. Let's try Vic. Vic was it Vic? Fifteen twenty-five. Let's try this. Oh, there it is. Well, oh, come to think of it, I've got one of those manuals over there. Yeah, over there. <laughs> right, let's grab this PDF. <coughs> so, 
what we ha what you have to do is let's see if I can find it. Da, 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 da. Double right graphics mode. There we go. 20, 2021. Here we go. Standard character mode, double width character mode, graphic mode. Um, by using character 8, you can enter graphic mode. This allows you to design and print graphics by inputting data. Each data statement is made up of a number of... Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that was it. That, that, that was it. We have to... Right, because the print head is vertical and it scans across the paper and we've got characters that are in bytes that go down, we have to do a transpose of the character, yeah? So we have to take bit, bit seven, 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 and then bit six, 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 five, 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 and then print it to the screen. That is probably what all that gobbledygook in my routine's doing. <laughs> yeah, it's probably doing all that. Having to look at each pixel down and then organise it into bytes to send it to the printer. So this is what... Yeah, it's all come flooding back now. <sighs> um, so... We have to... I think there's... Um, this was, well, I don't think it was a 9-bit printer, was this one? Was it a 9-bit printer? 9-pin, uh, 8-pin? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, it must be. <laughs> and so, and it was, yeah, it's, because the G's used, the, the lowercase G's used to stand proud, didn't it? You know, when you, when you, and that is, that is my manual. My manual's got, um, standing proud G's. Yes. Oh, it brings it all back. So, we have to, so basically, the, bi the bytes, the graphics is stored this way. Yeah? But, because the print head is like that, and it scans across the page like that when it's printing, it needs bytes that are in this orientation. And so you have to read, start at your, start at your character effectively, and read bit 7 of all 8 bytes, 77777. Seven, seven, seven and then print it then do six 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 then print it five 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 print it four 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 and print it and then that's how you build your custom graphics on the printer yeah oh God, it come, all comes flooding back i mean they used the commodore the commodore sim symbol as a as a, a tester so to turn on graphics mode, you have to print out character 8. And then to turn it back to normal mode, you have to print character 15. And that is reflected in this code. There's character 15. So where's character 8? Do I send character 8? Oh, there it is. Yep, yeah, there it is. So... That is how we print in graphic mode onto a Commodore printer. And I think the other Commodore printers, because there was the there was the 801, 802, and 803, they were the flat ones. The tra I think they were the traction printers, weren't they? As Hang on. No, this was the tra Traction, which one was where it grabs the paper by friction? Is that the traction printer? And then the 1525 was the one with the holes in, yeah? So it was it was uh, page fed. I think I had a traction one. 
I think I had an 803 when I was about 20. Because I did all my finances on my 64. Which we are going to have a video series about. Uh, Twitch series. Databasing. On the Commodore 64. So. Have we got time? <laughs> you had no money so there was no point. <laughs> right. Let's see if we can. Uh, we're not going to be able to test it. That's the downside. We're not going to be able to test it. But we can certainly import it straight in. So we'll call it G dump. We'll grab that. Put it there. G dump. This basic function to print the graphic screen to our device. I think, oh no, it's not to a device, it's to a printer. I don't even ask for the device. G dump. And there is no inputs. Right, let's just copy it and then convert it. And we'll figure it out as we go. Here we go. Right, so first things first, setting up the printer. So, device number. Oh, no, 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 no. Log logical file number. Device number. Secondary address. And because it was 255, it meant nothing. It means nothing. 255, it just ignores it. So, da 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 B A B A B A, which is that one. So, it's the similar sort of thing as if you would do a save and a load, yeah? Then we're transferring Y into A, which is 255. And so this would be for the file length. Uh, sorry, uh, not file length. File uh, name location. Same with that. That's the file name location and file name length. Now for a printer, don't have a file name. It's just it's just nothing. And so when you did no file name, you had to put 255 in the pointers. Then we are opening a channel. We are opening, we are opening that particular file. Boom, we've opened a channel to the printer. Now we're going to, um, oh, get rid of that. Now we're going to tell it all my all our outputs for this for the moment is going to logical file four. So our logical file number four is what we've set up here, 
and we are saying set output to this to the above logical file number so basically it's print hash if you remember the um, in basic it's print hash print hash to a logical file number so now we are starting here uh, we're going to be working down Y back looks neat. so it looks like we're going to be working down Y so we're loading 200 so that's going to be stored in com Y1 Y2 Ah, why am I, why am I storing that twice? John, why are you storing that twice? Hmm, I load 200 into Y1 and I put it back to 1. Well, we'll rim that out, them two out, because I'm not too sure about those. Right, so I'm just wondering if this is the... Um, column looper that's what I'm wondering if dump 9 is is the column looper where we're looping down the columns of the screen so com xl low Initializing our zero, our zero pages. Well, our variables anyway. Now I've done that already up there. So really, I don't need to do that either. Com ax low. Right, so this is here, setting printer into graphics mode. Oop, let's change the routine. So we're sending character 8 and we're printing character 8 and because we've set that all the prints all the print characters that we send out are going to the printer so we're going to send character 8 to the printer which sets the printer into graphics mode right so what's dump for where's that going is that doing a bite looks like it Yes, so this is a uh, vertical byte looper. So that's what it looks like because so we're doing the CPX7 jump back around here. Okay, right, XL low. So we are starting, so in, in terms of the graphics mode, we are, we're starting at X, zero, and working, starting from Y 200, and then we're gonna work down the Y in that pixel line for that byte row, yeah? So we're gonna be, and that's how we're going to be doing it. We're going to be scanning across each uh, row of characters to print them out. So this is what this is doing, I think. Right, JSR place. Good job I kept the same name. Right, dollar one 
remove basic. Right, load comp C. Right, I think I called that bite mask, didn't I? Yeah, bite mask. So we load in, load X into com C, so we get the bite mask, load Y, and it with 247. So 247 is that one. Oh, I know, I know. We work it out in place. That's it. Branch if equal to dump three. So this means that the um, what's this dump six? What's dump six? Oh, it's going back round, isn't it? So we've got to yeah. So branch if equal to dump three, which is ah right. So ax low, ax low looks like it's the byte to be printed. So ax low looks like it's the byte to be printed. So we're coming here. Um, so dump. Update print byte. So dump three is going to go there, and I think that's updating the print byte. So it's loading seven minus in com y two, transferring it, loading the byte mask, and then adding it to our byte that's going to be printed. So if it was 128, if it was bit 7, it was 128, it's going to add 128. So if it's 64, we'll add 64. Must be another way of doing this. Must be a slicker way of doing this. Got to be. So then we jump back to here. So bank basic back in. Load Y2. Increase it. Compare it with seven. If it's not equal, go back to dump four, which is here. So it's loading our first line. If it is equal to seven, go to jump dump five, which is going to print it out. Okay. So. So that's print byte. Let's just make sure we're okay so far. So now we're going to print the byte out. So we've scanned down the pixel line, we've created the byte, and now we're going to um, do it. And because um, byte 7 on a printer. I still got it open. Yes, I have. Because byte seven on the printer, you have to add it. It's, you've got to. Because none of these add up to 156. Look, that doesn't add up to 156. You have to add the 128. So we're adding the 128 to make it do it. And then we print it out. So 
So now we're going to increase the the uh, um, x value. So we've done the first x pixel column. Now we're going to do the next x pixel column. So to com x low. Right, branch if not equal. So we'll put in there by pass ink. XL high. So bypass the link on XL high. Compare it with one. Um, if it's equal, jump to three. Okay. Test low byte four high byte one. So if, if it's not, this one is, um, what we're we doing there, resetting. Ah. That's what that's doing. So we test the low byte. If the high bytes one, if it's 64, then we've finished. So the print line is complete. So if it's 64, the print line is complete, else we go to that 11. Yep. So the print line's complete. So we've done an entire row of the screen, so we're gonna reset everything. So here we go. Ready for the next screen line. Compare with five. I'm gonna jump eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's there. So if we take Y1, subtract seven, store it, compare with five. If it's less than five, come to here. Okay. I don't know what that's doing, but I'll just put a temporary thing in here. We'll figure out what that's doing in a minute. So this 13 is sending a carriage return. Oh, I don't know how to spell that. Car is that how you spell it? Carriage? <sighs> Whatever. Grab that. Send that to the printer. Go to dump nine, which is up here. Oi, John, pay attention to chat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, there you go, mate. Print enter. Right, so we do something and then we put, right, so we're putting it back into standard mode. Um, uh, set printer to standard mode and it does it twice 
Why am I doing it twice? Must have been a reason. This is carriage return. Enter. FFCC, I think that is clear the buffer, clear the channel. Yes, it is. Clear the output channel. So then we clear the output channel to make sure everything is um, set. And I think this is close. FFC3, yes, it's close. And this closes the file number. So this is the end. Right. This is the end, so not it's not bypass, it is um, end and printing. So that finishes the printing off. So it puts puts the printer back into graphics mode, prints um a carriage return reset the head clears the channel closes closes it got it so this is resetting so com a x low so that's resetting the bike we're going to send to the printer reset the second y and then it goes back to dump four if i give dump four a name yeah it's there Right, dump 12. What is dump 12 doing? Okay. That is... Oh, it's the next line. Because we're, res we're resetting the X's. Setting Y. And then resetting the byte we would send. So print enter. Send it to the printer. Set, ooh, graphics mode. So then we re, right, so this must be working out the next, this must be working out the next Y. Okay. Right, uh, uh, so this is uh, setting up ready for working out the memory location. JSR place. Oh, this is doing the uh, inter interline spacing because we only print seven bytes, uh, seven bits. Because we only print seven bits to the um, printer. This is the inter interline uh, printing. So uh, remove basic. I think that's it, isn't it? Bike mask, yep. Yeah. That is, oh. K, 
keep forgetting where it is. Rebuff. So this is effectively doing the same thing as before. So there's an opportunity to make this um, more efficient. So putting basic back in. So this is now sending it to the printer again. So it looks like I've replicated the same routine twice. And I don't know why. I'd have to look and see why. Excuse me. That coughed as well. <laughs> Can put all oh right. So this is the this is the end. Um, at test low. equal um, at go end which is here if it's equal it's not jump I mean there's a re RTS there oh I was going to say there we go go end Sort that out. That's resetting that. That is definitely cut. That is definitely done again. That is an exact copy of above. You're right, you're right. And that's why it's doing it again. You're right, because it... You had to control how far the uh, pa paper was moved up, wasn't it? Yeah, you, you, you're right. But I'm sure we can make this more efficient because we don't need to replicate the whole thing again. We just need to be, this is my inexperience back then. Don't need to copy and paste the whole thing again. We just could have one routine that we call twice. Right, let's see if that, um, let's see if that compile, uh, assembles. Right, text, G dump.
Right, F5, see if it compiles. No, what have I missed? Couple of variables. Oh, well there's there's one there. Missed an M. Ma oh, is it, oh, was it bike mask? Oh yeah. Oi, John, pay attention to chat. No, it assembles, yes, I know. As soon as I said it, I thought, oh, here we go. <laughs> right, let's see if it assembles now. <laughs> right, okay. So I'm not going to be able to. F Hang on, uh, does this have print on it? I don't. Do video peripheral settings. Oh, print four. Um, no idea. No idea. So we couldn't. I can't test it. I can't test it because I don't know how to print it. But I haven't got a printer either. I wonder if me. I wonder if me dad still got the printer. I'll have to ask. I'll have to ask, see if he's still got a printer. And then we could try it out on real hardware. But what you would do is you would, you know, like before, graphic. Uh, let's say we loaded that. So G pull, John test. And then 30 you would do G dump. Right, let's see if that's tokenized. Yep, that's tokenized. Um, but I don't know if this would print. Don't know if this would print. We could try it. Illegal quantity in 30. So that means I'm working something out wrong. <laughs> oh, I'd have to, we'd have to sit, we'd have to work out the maths. It'd be the place. It'd be this that's causing the illegal quantity. Um, but it's to do with the uh, X register again. Where am I testing the X registers? There. Comics low, comics high. That's okay. Branch of equal, yeah, okay. Where was the other one? I'm sure we had another one, didn't we? Bypass. Oh, here we are. This one. Yeah, com XL low. XL high, com XL low. Yeah, I'd have to look. It's the place that will be causing that. But there's no way of testing it because we can't print it out. But that's, that's the, how... I did it by scan, so we scan down the Y column for the the seven bits, six seven bits, yeah seven bits. Constitute your character to print, print it, then do, move to the next X seven bits, and then we would add seven, or in this case, 
here it's minus it's uh, subtract seven remember we are working in the other way around so 200s at the top so we start 200 subtract seven then another seven then another seven that's probably where five comes into it let's see um, I bet that's where five comes into it so 200 divided by seven yeah so that's where the five comes into it because we're checking fifth and I'm wondering if this here is only to do the five yeah it could be this could be just to do that last remaining five right so you've learned something new hopefully you know how how to save mem memory how to load it back in how to print to a custom character on the printer um even though we can't try it out for real i'll see if my dad's got he's still got his printer um and i might borrow it and see if we can try it out once once we've figured it out um Okay. I <sighs> watched all that and didn't learn it. <laughs> oh, cheers, mate. <laughs> oh. It's um Yeah, okay. <laughs> right. I'll call it a night there. Uh, I want to see how. I want to see how Nico's doing. He's curled up in a ball back there. All right, and I'll put this into GitHub tonight so you guys can download it and have a play with it. And uh, I will see you. I will do, Andy. I will do. Um, and I will see you next week is there anybody about i'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel without you guys i wouldn't be able to do what i'm doing right now thank you very much